This repair video presents the new TRX Compressed Swell Plug, designed to repair tie rod leaks in poured concrete foundation walls. The new TRX is scientifically designed as a two-stage sealing device for homeowners and maintenance personnel to use themselves. The TRX's first stage seal is from compression. The second stage is a water-activated shaft that reacts to the presence of water and swells to a long-term compressed watertight seal. In this video, we will learn how to locate the tie rod holes left from the dismantling of the forming walls and how to seal them with the new state-of-the-art TRX. Please wear safety goggles when performing this repair. Tie rod holes are created when the foundation contractor erects forming walls in which to pour the concrete into. To hold the weight of the concrete and to form the walls, the forms are held together with 5 8 inch tie rods every 18 inches in two rows, except on higher basement walls. They may have three rows. Usually there is one row about shoulder height and one row about a foot from the basement floor. This leaves a distinct pattern and makes them easy to locate. From this photograph, we can see where the foundation contractor has applied hydraulic cement over the rod holes and sprayed a tar-based sealant over the exterior of the foundation walls, the soil side. These sealants break down over years and the result is multiple water leaks in your basement. The first indication of a tie rod hole leak is a stain from one location on the wall. Some foundation walls are covered with a sprayed on stucco type finish. Some walls are not covered with this, which makes it easier to see the tie rod holes. First, we will remove the finish from the surface of the rod hole. As you see here, there is not much covering the holes other than a small amount of hydraulic cement that breaks down due to water. Once removed, the rod hole is visible and open to the outside. Now, take a standard screwdriver and round off the edge of the hole to loosen any debris. In some cases, the rod holes may be slightly smaller than the standard 5 8 hole. If so, pre-drill them with a 5 8 masonry bit. Take the TRX plug and insert the stainless steel screw end into the wall to obtain a snug fit. You may need to tighten the TRX by hand prior to insertion to ensure it is snug. In this demonstration, we will use a 3 8 standard nut driver to tighten the TRX to a snug fit. Do not over tighten as it may cause the TRX to fail. So remember, snug fit only. The tie rod hole is now repaired with the first stage compressed seal in place. Over time, the water activated blue shaft will be activated and expand to deliver a long-term compressed watertight seal. In this demonstration, the repair person is measuring 18 inches to locate the next tie rod hole location. Now he marks the spot to begin the next repair. Some basements are formed using a different method other than 5 8 rods. Instead they use snap ties, which are thin metal bars. If your basement does not have rod holes, then the TRX is not a repair option. Again, careful insertion to a snug fit. Tighten by hand if necessary. Then hammer slightly to ensure it is flush with the wall. Here, we use a different tool. A ratchet with a 3 8 socket will secure the TRX as well. Tighten the TRX to a snug fit. Again, do not over tighten as the water activated shaft will self tighten over time. 
Measuring again from the previous repair, we can find the next location. Here you can see faint staining where the tie rod is just beginning to leak. When rod holes have been previously repaired, you will need to drill the rod hole to remove the repair materials. Again, we secure the TRX with a standard 3 8 nut driver. After all is done, clean off the surface and apply a hydraulic cement or a drywall mud to fill in the surface for a paintable finish. It is important to mention the TRX should not be applied in a honeycomb area of concrete. This is where the aggregate concentration is excessive, causing seepage through that area. Also, you may see a wall fracture like this. If the rod hole falls within the wall fracture or honeycomb area, they should be sealed separately with injection of water-activated polyurethane. In this demonstration, we show how multiple rod holes can be fixed quick and easy. Here we open the rod holes with a half-inch metal rod purchased from the local hardware store instead of a screwdriver. This demonstrates how fast the TRX can be applied through the entire basement. Do not over tighten. Again, this demonstrates the user-friendly, do-it-yourself design of the TRX. Here is an example of how a rod hole may appear on the wall. The hydraulic cement that was initially applied has dried and appears in this manner. Now we slightly hammer the hydraulic cement away to find a rod hole. Also, the ends of the foundation walls may have two locations of rod holes like this. Tie rods should be sealed with a new TRX compressed swell plug. This photo shows how much water can enter your basement from unsealed tie rod holes. Also, unsealed tie rod holes can be an entrance for ants into your home. Here is an example of a tie rod hole behind a 2x4 stud and ants entering the unsealed rod hole. To summarize, in most basements, there are two rows of tie rod holes located at about five feet high and the other about a foot from the floor. Comparing to the photograph, you can easily see how they align. Order your TRX plugs today and stop your leaks instantly. Your TRX order comes with instructions. With this video, we hope you find the TRX application to be easy for the do-it-yourself homeowner. The TRX Compressed Swell Plug, the two-stage scientifically designed device for basement tie rod hole leaks. Visit www.trxplug.com and place your order today.